Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome back to my Matak channel. In this video, I am going to share you like how many, most of the clients are convinced about Go High level capabilities, but earlier they were using some other platforms and they used to have opt in forms uh, with, uh, with WordPress uh, either through Elementor or Gravity Forms or some other uh, uh, form mm, tool and uh, they used to embed this uh, forms and uh, collect the information and based on that they have their own automation setup but they that may not be like uh, that much extensive as like go high level they want to migrate to go high level but uh, uh, they were apprehensive about their existing mechanism i will show you like how you can easily transform uh, to go high level i will show you two options one is like um, say uh, you have a form like this in your wordpress website and you want to uh, uh, have the same page same wordpress page same landing page but uh, you want to uh, get those contacts and get the automations uh, workflow set up in go high level uh, the first method is like you have you create a form in the go high level and like name this is a simple form name email phone number and click the integrate one and as soon as you get that there would be an option for embed code and once you click that embed code you will have that embed code option that this would be iframe script you can just go copy and uh, paste it in your embed section in the wordpress website and uh, that will replace the, your existing form um, but the page would be uh, looking as it is so there is uh, you can customize the form to shoot the theme of the page uh, by adding some css customization and normally we work on those kind of uh, support for many of our clients and uh, once you are done with that you can integrate that form directly into this say this uh, this like a inline thing so you have to like uh, customize this form right mm. then you have uh, this kind of customization and the uh, theme has to also has to be matching with the landing page the other way is you continue to use your existing form but you can you can uh, push those contacts uh, die into go high level uh, mm. Say this one of our client is using a WordPress Elementor, and uh, and Elem uh, and they, it, he is using Elementor forms. What you what we can do is just go to uh, Elementor, and in the settings you can see lots of integrations option available, like Active Campaign, Facebook SDK, Mailchimp, Drip, everything. But uh, Go High Level is not available. So what you can do, you just go to submissions like this. That's right. you can go to submissions and you will see the forms listed here and once you have the forms you can just click on those forms you can just click on it and it will open the edit form option edit page option and when once you click on the form element it will show uh, the uh, all the form fields buttons where you can change the change the variety of options within the form like action after submit where it should go where it should redirect and uh, those kind of actions and where the form submissions will go and th those things will be available you could see option called web book in this way you can just just expand it and see there is an option to web book url if you are following us you would know like how to generate a web book in the zapier you can just uh, create action uh, sorry create a trigger like a web books by zapier and uh, once you that you can choose the event as catchook and you can just collect uh, generate a web book and once you are done then you can go uh, then you can go uh, just go and grab that uh, uh, copy that uh, hook and uh, paste it here and ensure that you save it uh, so that um, just click the update that would be enough and uh, once that is done as soon as whenever your customer whenever your customer submission is happening through your existing form it will uh, share the record like this it would be little tough to identify the fields like uh, this uh, this would be the field name and this would be the value so little it would be little tough 
uh, but you you uh, you have to manage it or you can get help of uh, experts like us and then uh, once you are done you can just go to continue with selected record and create an action called add or update contact or, or you can either go for a add or update opportunity also just click connect just click lead connector and choose an event add or update opportunity you can you can have both also uh, just uh, and ch uh, choose the connection by placing your api key and then you can just fill those uh, values which you have received from the web book first name you have to carefully uh, navigate through yeah test in this way you can you can direct and uh, navigate through all you can uh, capture all the fields and place the fields here and once that is done you can just click the continue thing and if you could manage all those fleets and um, and uh, and uh, uh, cap and uh, if at all you require any additional fleets which are available uh, in your original form you have to create a appropriate custom field in the go high level once you are done through that then you uh, go, then you click publish in the uh, with the zapier and uh, once you click hit the publish button it will uh, as soon as it will um, a submission comes in through your regular form it will reflect here in the go high level contact section you can see uh, this um, uh, the, uh, you can see those contacts would be uh, yeah, readily instantly available for the go high level and you can set up an automation like whenever a contact is created you can also add a tag through sapir also so the uh, so you can understand the source like uh, wp form or like wordpress form one those kind of things and when uh, whenever the customer has a tag with the contact created with the tag like wp form you can send an automated sms or like uh, mail according to your business case demands i hope uh, this helps you uh, in integrating your existing platforms with go high level let me know in case if you have any queries in the comment section i'll be happy to answer that Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks. Bye.